Local reaction from across the basin. Midland County Sheriff Gary Painter, State Representative Brooks Landgraf, and a local LGBT group all sending us their thoughts on this mass shooting. Sheriff Painter says in part, the law enforcement on this scene did a great job of reducing the number of victims by going headlong into the line of fire and ending the situation. May God give the citizens of Orlando the comfort and relief to deal with this tragedy. And State Representative Brooks Landgraf sending us this statement tonight. This was a cowardly act of hatred and a heinous act of terrorism. But America's resolve will only strengthen to defy such callous inhumanity. My prayers are with the Orlando victims, their families, and the heroic first responders. And P Flag Odessa saying in part, we ask that people in our community, whether they are LGBT allies or not, to remember that we are all human and that this tragedy strikes us to the core, regardless of political affiliation or beliefs. Orlando and the LGBT community will not be deterred by baseless hate and violence. We stand strong with you. And after this mass shooting, an immediate need for blood donors. Hundreds of people in Orlando responded. A blood center in Orlando says their website crashed because so many people want to donate. You can see hundreds of people standing in line at the blood bank. According to the Red Cross, blood donors must be in good general health, must be at least 17 years old in most states, including Florida, and must weigh at least 110 pounds. And back here in the basin, local blood banks aren't as busy and worry about the shortage. Local 2's Lupi Zabatha spoke with United Blood Services in Midland about the current need for blood here in our area. And he's live in the newsroom for us tonight. Lupi? I met with blood bank staff that tells me if a tragedy like the one in Orlando were to happen here in the basin, that we wouldn't be prepared. You never know what tomorrow will bring. Donate today so that we'll have it on the shelf tomorrow. Being prepared for the worst. Blood banks across the country hope that's the case in the event of a tragedy. After the mass shooting at the Orlando nightclub that took 50 lives, an immediate need for blood donors. Diane Scott with the United Blood Services in Midland tells me if a tragedy like this were to hit the basin, our blood bank wouldn't be prepared. We need to have this blood on the shelf so that we can get, to, get it to the hospitals to be transfused to people that need it. I mean, it's very, very simple. If we don't have the blood, people don't get their transfusions. Here at Hospital Services, there are currently only 40 bags of blood in these refrigerators, and I'm told that they need at least 130 to be at minimal operation. If everybody donated three times a year, we wouldn't have a shortage of blood. But that's not always the case. When tragedy strikes, blood banks see an increase in generosity. I started the day after 9-11, so you can imagine how I felt that day, the very next day, it was amazing to me of people coming out and donating. She says there are times when they've needed the blood and didn't have it. And we had the tragedy in November at the train tracks. I mean, there's been tragedies during this time that I've been here that things have happened when we needed the blood and we didn't have it on the shelf. Blood Bank says to avoid these shortages, they're trying to make donating as easy as possible by having a pre-screening process available on their website to help save time. Reporting live in the newsroom, Lupi Sapatha, Local 2 News. Thanks, Lupi. And for more information on how to donate blood to those affected in Orlando, you can visit our website, yourbasin.com.